All right, so in this video, I'm gonna demonstrate uh, generating a merge conflict and then resolving it. And I'm gonna keep working with our simple uh, repository. Currently it has two branches, master and ABBA, but I'm actually gonna delete the ABBA branch because I merged in those changes and let's say I'm done with it. So I'm gonna delete it. Uh, there's a couple ways of doing it. Uh, I've actually already shown this, but basically get branch dash D and then a branch name and you wanna make sure you're not on that branch. So if I wanna delete this ABBA branch, I'm not on it, so git branch, I'll do full screen, dash D ABBA, and it's gone. So I had all of the changes merged into master, so it doesn't warn me. Uh, when I first introduced how to delete a branch, uh, it did warn us because we hadn't learned how to merge changes in, but now everything is merged in, I don't need to force this delete with a capital D. Okay. So now we have just the master branch, all right? So now what I'm going to do to demonstrate merge conflicts is I'm gonna make two branches and I'll do it quickly. I'll probably fast forward through a lot of it. One for our friend Bjorn and another for our friend, uh, I don't know, Serena. And they're going to each have their own branch where they can make their own playlist for the road trip. And they're definitely not going to agree. Uh, so they'll make their own playlist on their own branch, and then I'll merge them together when we're ready for our road trip. So I'll start by making Serena's branch. So I'll do it in one go, git switch dash C Serena. Okay. And then um, I'll also go back to master, git switch master, and then I'll make the other branch, git switch dash C for Bjorn. All right. So now we have two branches well, we have three, but we have two that we just made, Serena and Bjorn, and they're all referring to the same spot that Master currently is. So now we're gonna switch over. Uh, let's, we're on Bjorn, so let's just work on Bjorn's branch. Bjorn really does not like ABBA that much, but he likes Dancing Queen, so he's gonna keep Dancing Queen, okay? Then uh, we're going to add some music in that Bjorn does like. Bjorn likes a band called King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard, so he adds that in. We'll make a commit for him, or he makes a commit. I'll just do it here, stage all changes, add, and I'm just gonna do king, gizzard, lizard, wizard, song, all right. So we're on the Bjorn branch, and he adds one more song. Uh, what should he do here? He likes the strokes, so he adds both, or two songs in by the strokes. Okay, he stages them, he commits, add two strokes songs, okay. Then simultaneously, Serena is working on her branch and she likes ABBA quite a bit. She even goes as far as to add another ABBA song in. She adds, uh, what is it, Gimme Gimme, I think, by ABBA. Okay, so she makes that commit, stages her change, add one ABBA song. Okay, and she does one more change what else does she like? She likes Dolly Parton. So she adds, here you come again. Okay, so she adds that change, she stages it, she commits, add one Dolly Parton song. Okay, so now when we take a look, if we ignore everything uh, that we did earlier, we just look from here and above, we can see that we have two branches, we're ignoring master, we have Serena and we have Bjorn. And Serena has two commits that don't exist on Bjorn, and Bjorn has two commits that don't exist on Serena. But unlike the previous merge we did, where uh, we were merging this ABBA branch with the master branch, there were no conflicts there. Here, there are definitely conflicts because we're editing the same file and some of the same lines. So when I switch, right, I'll switch one more time from Serena now to uh, Bjorn. We can see there's a lot of changes going on in there. So when I try and merge the two, we're gonna run into an issue. So now I have to decide where I want to do the merging. Do I want them to still have separate branches and just continue to have separate branches? If so, maybe I'll make a third branch. I'll call that one, uh, what should it be? Get switch dash C combination or just combo. And I'm branching from Bjorn, that's where I am now. So it will include all the stuff from Bjorn and then I can merge in the changes from Serena. Okay, so now I have this new combo branch. It's at the same spot, right, as Bjorn. They're referencing the same commit. Now I'm gonna merge in Serena. So here we are, I'm on combo. 
which contains the same stuff as the Bjorn branch. I'm going to do git merge Serena. And here we go. It tries to auto merge. Nope. Conflict. Merge conflict in songs.txt. Automatic merge failed. Fix conflicts and then commit the result. So we go to our editor. I'm using VS Code. You can see it does some nice highlighting for me. And we have those markers I mentioned. So you can see head right here. From that line down to here, those equal sign. This is what we had on the branch originally. In our case, it was the combo branch. So we can see it. It's Bjorn's changes. And then here, this is the change, or the changes we had coming in from the Serena branch. And I have to decide, do I want just Serena stuff? Do I want just Bjorn's? No, I want both. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to delete these markers. We get rid of those. So all of that. And then I'm going to keep, you know, where they have overlap. For example, Dancing Queen is on both of them. I don't want Dancing Queen twice. So I'm going to do that. And otherwise, I think everything is unique. The point is, it's up to me. It's totally up to me what I want to keep and don't keep. And in this case, I mean, if we're doing a playlist, two friends, I guess it's fair, it's equitable to allow them both, <laughs> just take both of their songs and combine them. Um, but if I wanted to, I could say, you know what? I only like Serena's songs. I'm getting rid of you, Bjorn. And I could do that. I could just get rid of that and say, this is what we're going with. But I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm going to keep both of their songs in there. And I just removed the duplicate, which was Dancing Queen. So now I save. So go back to this guide here. First step, open the files. Second, edit the files. Third, remove the conflict markers. We did that. Fourth, add the changes and make a commit. So, whoops, I need to go back to my terminal. We type git status, and it tells us we're on this branch combo, unmerged paths, and it tells us this songs.txt file has been modified. So now we just add the changes, okay? And then we commit, git commit dash m, uh, and we can just do something like resolve conflicts or mer, it's up to you really, but I'll just do resolve conflicts to keep it short and simple. And that's what this commit is. This commit is us merging and resolving those conflicts. Okay? So now, let's head over to our little visualization here. It looks exactly the same as what we had earlier. It's the same process, right? We merged this branch, Serena, into Combo, and we have this new merge commit. The difference is that we had to do some work to make that commit. We didn't just approve a commit message like we did a couple of videos ago. Instead, we actually had to dig into a file and make some changes. We had to look at those markers that Git adds for us, these things, and figure out what we wanted to keep from the two branches, and then make changes, save, and then add and commit. But now that conflict has been resolved, and we're on our new branch, Combo, which includes the commits that it had earlier from Bjorn and the new commits from Serena and the conflicts there that we manually resolved.